Puluyan na ngang nilisan ng Cagayan State University ang tradisyonal na pananaliksik at yung mock-up sa bagong paradigm para sa pag-unlad. Ang walong campuses ay unti-unti pinapalakas ang kanilang research and development program na naganais na makabawas sa mga problema ng lipunan. Higit sa inovasyon sa agrikultura at sa itibikong pananaliksik, ang Cagayan State University ay nakasentro rin ng pananaw sa matatag at matibay na ugnayan ng tao sa ecosystem. Dahil naniniwala ang CSU na kapag matatag ang ugat, komportable at ligtas ang buhay. Kaya naman ang Cagayan State University ang Ari Campus ay kilala sa kanilang mga pananaliksik sa pagsusuri at pag-alam sa mga lokasyon ng mga organismo ito. Dahil tulad ng mga tao, kailangan din nilang maalagaan at maprotektahan upang hindi mawala sa mapa ng katubigan. Cagayan River is at has a diverse resource. Underneath the water are the benthic organisms that do not have the opportunity to go up the water when the water is high, but instead, they have the tendency to be caught by anyone who knows where they are found. So since this, these are organisms that need our assistance, we need to consider where they are and we need to protect them. Now that we are assessing them and we know the value they are giving to the community, the policy makers would be of help to craft policies to protect the resource, to sustain the livelihood of the people, reside and conserving that because it is a resource, it is an asset of them. Knowing where they are, will identify the areas that need to be Our research in Upper is very peculiar and unique. In Karda University, we are the only colleagues that offers fisheries or aquatic sciences. It is very different in the sense that my faculty and I have peculiar expertise on aquatics. Unlike the agriculture, we don't where they don't go in waters, but they go on land. Uh, perhaps uh, conservation and management, but we are peculiar because we go down the water to understand the habitat of the organism. So we love the waters. We need to understand that our organisms have life. So just like all of us living on land, our waters where our species are found, demands our services. So like us, they will grow. Like us, they will be sustained. They don't like what we do not like because they are living organisms, living with requirements. Even the ocean, if we don't understand, if we don't help protect, conserve the ocean, the surrounding environments, we shall be losing the diversity of the ocean. So our advocacy to our students, we need to love the waters as we love ourselves. Dahil sa makabagong teknolohiya at sa masuring pananaliksik, nalalaman natin kung ano ang tamang lupa at tubig na siyang makakatulong sa pag-intindi sa life cycle ng mga organismo ito. At sa pagsusuri ito, maaring maintindihan natin sila bilang yamang buhay ng tubig. Sa tulong ng pananaliksik ng College of Fisheries, napagtanto natin na higit sa kung anong yaman ang kayang makita ng mata, may mga yamang di kailangang sisirin. Ang mga organismo ito ay tulad ng isang ginto. Kailang trabahuin, alamin, suriin, at sisirin kahit pa sa sahig ng mundo. Pero hindi dahil sila yamang natural, kailangan din nilang maintindihan at maprotektahan upang hindi mawala habang napapakinabangan ng komunidad. Ako nga po pala si Angelo Caranyan at ito ang Research and Development Program ng College of Fisheries and Aquatic Sciences ng Cagayan State University Bird the River Visitee Abari Campus at ito ang Kaagapay mo CSU.